if it wasn't for so much like anti-immigrant, anti-Central American, Mexican sentiment, a company like mine probably wouldn't exist. Estamos en lugar ahora donde estamos reconectando con nuestra cultura, nuestra descendencia, nuestro idioma para entendernos más. I founded Hija de Tu Madre because I always kind of struggled with my own identity and reconciling being a part of two worlds, being Mexican, but also being American, also being first generation, daughter of immigrants. So I think growing up there was a lot of intersectionality with my identity and I never felt really represented in fashion or media. I never really felt like my community story or faces were ever represented or told. And so I really took it upon myself to create the type of representation I would have liked growing up. I think there is this growing trend, especially with like this younger generation of like Latinx that really want to reclaim symbols and images that they grew up with or that remind them of home or of this motherland. And I think a lot of it has to do with like growing up multicultural and constantly having to pick between like one world or the other. My designs and my apparel and my accessories, I think create this like sense of empowerment and fearlessness for my community to like embrace their Latinidad despite, you know, what this president says about them or their families. That's why my brand I think is so special to a lot of our customers because it provides a sense of security and safe space that like other fashion brands or retailers can't provide. Yo empecé a trabajar en la industria de música y yo fui la única latina en cada lugar que yo fui. Lo que me inspiró a empezar, mi hija, fue de no sentir que nuestra cultura y nuestra comunidad estaba ahí enfrente de la comunidad de música. Trabajamos con artistas de primera generación, descendientes de inmigrantes de diferentes partes de Latinoamérica y cantan en inglés y español y representan su cultura y no, son, no tienen miedo de representar esa cultura en su música. Todo lo que hago y creo que es el mismo sentimiento para muchas personas que son hijos de inmigrantes, es para nuestra familia. Mis papás llegaron aquí a 30 años con una esperanza para darle algo nuevo para su familia, nueva oportunidad, una bonita vida. Y yo soy una historia así, pero de millones. 